Hello and today we're bringing you a rather original video report as we are going to talk with a very special guest about an object at the very origin of time measurement, sundials. So to do so, we took our watchmobile direction, the Vallée de Joux, and I'm bringing you along to a very special place for me. It's my little castle in this beautiful valley, but the term shack is probably a bit more appropriate. But it's my castle anyway. The Vallée de Joux is home to what we call complicated watchmaking, but also home of the Espace Horloger, a great exhibition place that hosts a nice collection of watches illustrating the special savoir-faire found in this valley, among other specific uh, thematic exhibitions such as the one we brought to you a few months ago with the timepieces seen in James Bond movies, and you'll soon understand why I talk about the Espace Horloger as well. So this beautiful sunny day was the perfect setting to talk about what is solar time and how it is interpreted and we indeed have somebody very special who participated in this project that will demonstrate this to us. To make things simple and to use a concrete example, true solar time can be resumed as to the zenithal point of the sun at noon, meaning the time of the day when the sun is at its most vertical point to where you are standing and therefore when your shadow projected on the ground is the shortest. And this naturally doesn't necessarily correspond to the actual time you read on your watch display. Yes, because us, the humans, we norm the time we use on a daily basis and throughout the year on 24 hours per day. And we did this to make our lives easier and to be able to share within a certain defined time zone the same exact time, another human conceptual construction. But in reality, or in astronomical perspective, days don't all last exactly 24 hours. You actually have a plus or minus 15 minutes time frame, depending on the season and on which latitude you are. The Earth rotates around an axis, okay, we all know this, but then this axis shifts slightly depending on the season, which precisely creates these, the, these different seasons we get to enjoy, and also why we have this difference of plus or minus 15 minutes. And there are only four days within the year where true solar time and time as we know it coincide. In watchmaking, we call the difference between the true solar time and this precise norm 24-hour daytime the equation of time. And this is a complication you will find in some very complicated timepieces with astronomical features. Anyhow, and coming back on true solar time and how you read it, well, let's get back to it with legendary traditional watchmaker, Mr. Philippe Dufour. All this idea was, was born. Yes. I come from the Espace Horloger, and uh, some years ago they used to make some, some watches for you know, people to, to bring something home. And uh, uh, we talk and we say, well, to make a watch is not, not so nice, not easy, because we arrive to something too, too expensive, uh -huh. okay, to, to, to sell in, in, in a museum, in, a museum, in fact. Yeah. Somebody brought the idea of sandal, okay, and uh, Jean-Daniel Bondeman, who is a, uh, a crazy guy, <laughs> uh, 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 you know, uh, start, start to, to study and uh, bring us with two uh, different types of, of sandal. The horizontal sandal here, with the latitude of Valle de Joux, uh -huh. okay, and here uh, equinoxial uh, uh, sandal. Uh, the sandal you can travel with, okay? Yes. And you have all the latitude from the, all the main town in, uh, on Earth. But on the northern hemisphere only? Exactly, yes. So on the, the, the regular horizontal uh, yes. sundial, so this is fixed to the latitude of uh, the Valley Jour, exactly. 46.6 yes. degrees north. Yes. So show us uh, how, how, how it works. Well, uh, first of all, take out of the box, it's like that, and you slide this little opening and you put the the steel and then what you have to do is to with your compass to 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 adjust to the north and try to keep on on level to to be sure your hand is free to move and then you can read the time through the the, the steel it show the, the the shadow of the of the of the time Okay. So in this example, here it's about eleven, about eleven, but okay. solar time. Okay. Solar time, yeah. yes. And on this example, we achieved the same result because we fixed uh, the angle to the same latitude exactly. uh, of uh, where we are. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice box, and then you open 
here, you open here and here. You choose the, the, the latitude through this, uh, this uh, ruler here. And then you read, you read the time. This needle is showing the shadow of the time on, the, on, the, on this uh, uh, dial. dial yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. This object uh, is done very beautifully, like you said, yeah. very meticulously done. Yeah. Uh, and I heard that it's done, uh, this is all done in brass because you don't want to have uh, any magnetic exactly. perturbation yes, yes, for, your, yes. uh, for your compass yes, reading. Yeah. Yes. When you use it, you have to be careful not to, to use it on a table with some uh, uh, steel feet or something like that. Okay. So it can change uh, the magnetism. Okay, so now maybe you know a bit more about true solo time and sundials. And if you're interested uh, in the objects shown in this video, well, you can purchase them on our website www.watchestv.com. And there's really some watchmaking spirit in them as they are built by the Bodenman Company, a very interesting carpentry uh, workshop of the Valley de Joux, very involved in watchmaking. And I think we will do uh, something special about them because uh, they are behind some rather fancy watchmaking related object that I think you will like. And finally, these sundials are sold for a good cause since the proceeds are going in supporting the Espace Horloger of the Valley de Joux. And remember, there are two versions, one for the precise latitude of 46.6 degree north and one where you can adjust the angle of the sundial to the latitude you are located in, in the northern hemisphere. Thanks for your time. I know this was a bit of an unusual report, but I hope you liked it too. All the best and see you soon going back to some more traditional mechanical watchmaking video. Thank you.